Hi guys, Rachel CPR here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a fermented rice water rinse. I just recently started trying this process out. I've been watching lots and lots of videos on fermented rice water and just trying to do different research and studies about um, and read different studies about rice water, water rinsing. So this is the beginning stages for it. I just wanted to share this with you. I found a recipe that I thought, well not a recipe, but a process that I followed to ferment my rice water on Jackie Natural's channel. So I will link her video down below and she will, you'll get a little bit more um, information on how I made my water. This is how my water looks. You can see at the bottom, I just shook it up so it's not settled anymore. But um, when all of the cloudiness has settled to the bottom, you see all of the little pieces of the I guess the fermentation and the process that has happened with the rice water. Again, this is something I've just started on. This is my second treatment. This is a protein treatment, so if you give it a try, just know if you are protein sensitive, this will be something that you will definitely have to really moisturize after. And so the first time I used it, which was two weeks ago, I used it and I noticed immediately that the elasticity in my hair was a lot more springy, and I really like that. But my reality is, is I don't have, I don't necessarily have protein sensitive hair as much as I don't really need protein in my hair right now. I don't use the, um, I don't use heating tools other than a diffuser on a heating setting, on a low heating setting. And so I don't have much need for protein, but of course your hair can always be stronger and better. And so I'm always trying to do different things to keep my hair healthy, especially since I'm trying not to cut it as much now. So this is what I'm going to use. And I am also going to be using the bowl method to apply this to my hair and saturate my hair with this rice water. Last time I did my rice water rinse, I mixed it. My hair was already wet, but what I'm going to try to do this time is apply it onto dry hair because I want that first gulp that my hair takes to be the rice water instead of water because the water does fill up the hair strands a bit so that you don't get so this gets a little bit diluted but I don't want this to be diluted at least I don't think so so again this is a process that I'm going through and I'm trying something a little bit different so I'm just going to show you how I put this through my hair and I am going to also use the bowl method to apply my conditioner which is going to be kind of So I'm going to let this sit, I'll say for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then I will come back. Then I'm going to actually rinse this out of my hair, like completely flush it, and then I will go in with my conditioner immediately afterward, and then I will use the bowl method to rinse it out. So I'm just gonna have to thoroughly clean this as well. So I'll be back. I am all done styling my hair. 
I just used my Eco Styler Gel and I went through my hair and I just styled it. I did try to style it in the bowl with the wet line gel, but that was a mess. That did not work out. That is not a water soluble gel like that. To say that it could just like liquefy in with the water just being poured, poured over it. So that didn't work out. So in the end, what I did, just took some of my melanin and I went through my hair and I just like, um, liquefied the melanin through my hair and my hair felt so good afterward so this is my second time using the rice water treatment and I noticed a huge difference an even bigger difference than the first time my the elastin in my hair is even more springy and the way you check to see how the elastin in your hair is is you take a strand of hair and you give it a tug when it's wet and or dry you can do dry as well you don't want to pull it so much that it snaps as much as you pull it just enough to see how far it stretches when the hair is is wet it's going to stretch a lot further because when it's wet that's just what happens so when i pulled on my hair when it was wet it definitely had a lot of um a lot of stretch to it and again my hair curled up even tighter with my hair like i just noticed that my hair curled up a lot tighter when it was wet like normally it's not as tight as it was the curl doesn't curl up as tight even right now lately i haven't been seeing that my hair has been curling up this tightly when it's wet like this normally it's like hanging down but now it is not hanging as much as it normally would hang and i'm completely okay with that because that means that it's just retaining moisture a little bit more and it's a little bit more fortified so but the other thing that I will say that happened this time that did not happen the last time I did this was my hair felt after immediately after rinsing, I could definitely feel the effects of the protein treatment in that it definitely needed a conditioner. I went in with a new conditioner, which normally, especially with, um, I don't like to try more than one product at one time, unless it's just like a complete line. But what I did was I used this Maui Moisture. This is the Curl Quench Coconut Oil Conditioner for curly hair, for thick curly hair. I gave this right here a try. I really did like it. It moisturized my hair. It took away that feeling that I had after using the rice water rinse. And so I'm very pleased with it. it smells amazing. It smells like um, pina colada. <laughs> It smells like um, a trip someplace tropical. <laughs> so it's wonderful. So that's what I did today. And um, so far, I'm really liking it. My hair feels really good. And like I said, the elastin is what I was looking at. And I can definitely see that it's a little bit more springy. I think I will extend my next rice water rinse to three weeks. And I will see how that goes. So thank you so much for taking this journey with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye, guys.